Welcome to the John Thompson Exhibition Blog. I'm your host, Yang Mei Ui. Now, John Thompson was a Scottish photographer in Victorian times who travelled to China and Southeast Asia uh, in around the 1860s. There's an exhibition of his photography on at the Brunei Gallery at SOAS in London from April through to June 2018. Now, on this video blog, today I have my guest, Mifong Lecoq. Welcome. Thank you. And Mifong, you studied East Asian art history, I believe, at yes. uh, SOAS, which is where the exhibition uh, of John Thompson's work is on. So thank you for coming along and being on the video blog. Happy. And uh, so you're going to tell us about your favorite John Thompson photograph. Yes. My, um, the one that really struck me was is the one on the old Cantonese woman mm -hmm. um, because it is so contemporary in its its visual image mm -hmm. um, it's um, it's an extraordinary picture for that period because when I was looking through photographs of Southeast Asia most of them were much more formal in portrait more like an ancestral worship so it was much more still like stilted and where the sitter would face the camera directly and um, it just it seemed different not and this to me is very personal it, it could it could fit today it could be comparable to an Annie Lebowitz um, portrait or Richard Avedon any of the yeah yeah the, the contemporary quite funky exactly, photographers exactly Annie Leibovitz cool yeah. um, so why why is that different what, what's different about this, this well portrait? particularly with the side view it is very distinctive in the way that he uses natural light and and, and probably manipulate a little bit the artificial light you see the the details with the hair the tight cheekbones the highlighted of of her image and she just she just pops and he and, and, and Although, you know, you look, if you look closely at the details, the clothing itself, you know, she could be one of those, you know, um, everyday um, regular people, but yet there's an elegance to this portrait. Um, and her, I don't know, it's just, it just somehow, it just seems like she really, really embraces this, this image. She, mm. she kind of mm. um, somehow just... Uh, so he's know, taken an ordinary woman, as you say, and through posing her in this particular way that's very fresh for his time, yes. um, and using natural light, and of course with natural light you can't manipulate it, you just have to... No, no do you have a better, un yeah, you know, you need to understand, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yes, and, yes. And so, I mean, she's, she's beautiful and elegant, as you say, and just love the hairstyle and the high cheekbones and that very contemplative pose. Um, and it's quite unusual, I'm thinking that, you know, he's a Western man, probably quite formal in his Western uh, Victorian clothing. Um, can you imagine um, and maybe um, guess how he might have persuaded a, a, a lady like this to pose for him? It, there's a huge amount of trust in this portrait that mm -hmm. she provide, that she gives him and, and it's either his ability to, to, to speak to the everyday people because normally in, in, in Asia portraitures um, are, is a class um, very, it's class oriented. It's normally painted on silk, and what 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 photography d did for Asia was that it brought it to the middle class, and it even brought it down to the, the working people. So it highlighted, and it gave them the dignity of showing, you know, their everyday life, and and um, and I think that that kind of helped um, in terms of bring out. Um, Westerners more to visit because it kind of brought people to see that these are these are not so different. Maybe it's more more a little exotic, but they're not so much different than than we are here in, in the West. So, so I think it. Uh, so he humanized these um, otherwise exotic creatures. Yes, yes. For, for the Victorian Westerners, um, and made them um, be real people through his portraiture. Correct. Great. So, John Thompson, the Annie Leibovitz of Victorian times. That's brilliant. Thank you, mm. Mifong, for coming on the video blog. Um, so if you're interested in the exhibition, it's called Through the Lens of John Thompson. It's on at the Brunei Gallery at SOAS in London from uh, the 13th of April to the, to the 23rd of June 2018. And you can find out more at the exhibition website, which is johnthompsonexhibition.org.